Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. Uh, it's a rainy night. Let me go. Uh, let me go nap, and then uh, <laughs> I, I guess I don't need my uh, scaffolding. All right. Hello. It's uh, I, I wish I could say that I got stuff done between Friday's stream and today. It had certainly been my intention, but that that just isn't the way. That just isn't the way things worked out. So this monstrosity is still more or less as it is. Although, uh, while I was working with this yesterday, uh, I ran into a problem where every now and again, not always, not often, but every now and again, that carpet there would break and so the whole duplicator would break. And as long as I picked up the carpet, put it back, everything would go fine. I suspect that it was a lag issue. And, and because it was only, it didn't happen during the live stream itself, but it was happening while I was uploading the video from the live stream. So that... I, that's why I think that 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 uh, that that should be fine, except when things get a little uh, laggish, lag adjacent, laggy. Uh, <clears throat> so with that out of the way, let's do a couple of bits of housekeeping, and then we'll get on to the main show. Let's see how much sand. Hello, Arcadius. How you doing? Thank you for the raid. Uh, I guess that means that I can now uh, pop back into Discord. Let me uh, switch that back up because you're you're in the CoffeeCraft live channel. And there we go. Hello. Hello. All right. Uh, hello. Let's. Uh, ooh. I can't find my skin. You what? Mojang made me do the conversion thing, and now I can't find my skin. Uh, it should have kept your skin. No, I have a Nikki skin. Uh, that doesn't that doesn't sound right. Uh, <laughs> okay. So I'm going to be a minute, just so you know, because I'm trying to find myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, too, often feel like I have lost myself somewhere along the way. <laughs> but I, I, I'm struggling because when I did the when I did the conversion, I didn't have any problems with the, the skin not transferring over. Um, well, I rolled your dice. I don't I don't know. how. To, I don't oh, know. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I am, I am perplexed. I said no stress, just, you know, I'll be a minute. Yep. Working things out. Why is there another cat? You two are there to stop that from happening. You fail. You epically fail. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Okay. I guess these guys aren't doing their job. I, I wonder... Uh, I am wondering if that is because the... Uh, the... The words. They're not appearing. Uh, I'm wondering if that is because the... Cats are... Tame. These guys are tame, and because they are tamed cats, they don't count when the villagers are checking. Hello, keyboard banana. How are you doing today? Um, yeah, I really, really thought that keeping a couple of tamed cats near the player would uh, would. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. Obviously, it doesn't work that way. Um, 
I, I have a pest problem. I'm now wondering what animal I need to keep around here to uh, keep the population controlled. I don't think it works that way. Uh, there's usually something. There's always something. Like, uh, if I... Uh, I don't know. I'm stuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, if I wanted to keep the chicken population down, I'd just, you know, keep a fox around. That would solve the problem. Or an ocelot. Yeah, but the ocelots are kind of weird about that now. We are playing on a Skyblock server uh, using uSkyblock Revived. And I, I've been steadily working on finally getting my villagers into place and set up. Um, I also need to see if this worked as I hoped it would. Um, I built a little iron farm based off of a design by uh, Evomance. There's the information there. I, I should probably get some white dye and dye that so it stands out a little bit better. Let me do that while I'm thinking about it. Short-term memory problems and, and being what they are. Um, I, I'd hate to uh, <laughs> I'd hate to start down this path of, oh yeah, I should probably do that. Uh, and then I need to harvest that, but I don't think it's ready yet. Um, yeah, no, it's not ready yet because I just checked. Um, I think I am going to <clears throat> retire my mason uh the version of skyblock that we have has a cap on the number of villagers any particular iron can have so you, uh, iron any <laughs> any particular island can have i'm thinking iron because i want to see if that okay so that that turned it off and this is full this is full Oh, beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I, I set up a, a rather hacky power signal from uh, from that repeater there so that uh, once that started filling up and the signal strength got enough, it would power that target block, which would move a pane of glass down uh, into the head of that zombie blocking his line of sight so these guys would stop producing iron and this thing wouldn't overflow which also means that if I do that and that and that and there we go that's the beautiful sound of iron happening again because these guys are now scared witless beautiful I'll have to go do some trading to get emeralds on them. Uh, <clears throat> it occurred to me that while I've been doing this glorious, glorious redstone uh, here and there and everywhere else, um, I still haven't had a wandering trader show up. Like any other time I, I go work on redstone, a wandering trader shows up. Not just shows up, but shows up in the middle of the redstone at the least opportune time possible. Yeah, that, that, that's a pretty neat little device. Um, oh, I need to I need to go back and find the video for for this guy too. It's a little micro farm that is set up so that way once you unhook that lever, um, you you can rapidly get crops depending on your bone meal supply. Ooh, thank you for the follow. Um, since we have a cap on villagers, I did not want to do a villager based crop farm because I didn't want, I didn't want to tie them up on that or have to get into and out of the farm every time I wanted to trade. Um, I think the island caps out at 16 villagers, 16 villagers. So I've got the three guys in the farm and another 13 guys over here. And I got a little carpet duplicator running into the furnace. Although, given that just a, a single carpet duplicator is enough to power more than one furnace, 
I'm thinking of I'm thinking of actually tearing all this down and rebuilding it again. Hello, Beach Duck. Um, I'm thinking about tearing this down, building it again, and building one large carpet duplicator and running a mine cart across uh, uh, across some hoppers on the back. Uh, we've been playing on this world since January, I think. I'm pretty sure. No, that's about accurate. Because it was it was um, before before one dot seventeen came out. No, ish adjacent. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, you're right. Um, although I should add the the one thing holding me back from putting up a giant string of these is the island also has a limit on the number of hoppers you can have. Um, yeah, I think it was January. Hello, Willie. How are you doing today? Uh, let me update that real quick. <laughs> Rank is one. Rank is one out of the people logged in right now. Don't. <laughs> So if you look, my, my current island level, which is calculated based off of the number of different blocks that I have placed, is 340.1. Got to have that point one. It's very important. Uh, I've got 14 animals out of a max of 64. Uh, unfortunately, every time a random cat pops up in a village, that goes against my animal count, which is why I'm a little cranky about not being able to... Uh, to stop the cats from spawning. Like, I'm about ready to go go bottom slab this, carpet it or something, just to make sure there is no possible space for a cat to spawn. And, and just fix it that way. <laughs> uh, I've got the one monster out of a max of 50 because other than the mob farm, I've got the one guy in the iron farm and that's it. I've got 15 out of my 16 villagers. I've got two iron golems out of my max of five, and that is mostly because I wanted these guys over here by the villagers so that their gossip didn't cause iron golems to spawn and wander off. And because they'd wandered off, another one spawns. And uh, hopefully, if I did this right, which I don't know, these guys have me second guessing what I know. Uh, these guys should see that there's already a golem there. So when the gossip reaches the point that it would normally have caused an iron golem to spawn, uh, they won't because they'll see that one's already there. Theoretically. Hopefully. Probably. <laughs> we'll see. Right, as you can see, I am filled with confidence. Um, I have zero of the max 10 spawners because we didn't, uh, we didn't do the store add-in for buying stuff like that. Not this go around anyway. And right now I have 27 out of a max of 50 hoppers. Uh, that has been, <laughs> that, that is, I love building redstone stuff. Except a lot of the really cool redstone stuff requires tons of hoppers. So this whole 50 hopper maximum cap is really hurting my soul. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, this would be all auto-sorted uh, storage over here, and, and I wouldn't be going, where where, where did I put the, uh, oh, oh, over there. <laughs> There'd be a lot less of that. Matter of fact, I'm getting ready to move all the lumber into one of those columns there. Because uh, the barrels just aren't aren't working out, particularly for like spruce and dark oak, which I use a fair amount of. Um, and of course, I've got my island. I am the only one who can build on it. Over over there, my neighbor is X Medic Frog, who should be on a little bit later. I can go visit the island, but I can't interact with it. So I'm now on X Medic Frog's island. And I can't do anything. So even if I wanted to come over here and bust down a wall to be a, you know, uh, I can't do that. If I wanted to build a giant statue of a chicken, 
I mean, randomly. Not not that I'd ever do anything like that. Uh, <clears throat> I can't. Uh, it also means that I can't open up doors, so I can't swim up the waterway and, you know, walk around the island too much. And over on that ginormous plot is Arcadius. And Rayust is the one over there with the vines reaching all the way to the void. Uh, this bottom level is, is literally that half slab above the bottom of the world. My plan was to build all the machines and farms and ugly things down here. And then build a, a pretty, pretty scenery up there. Uh, you can see how far I've gotten. Not very far at all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you have. You've got all those over-engineered projects. Late, late, life's, been, life's been a little crazy here lately, so uh, that, that just hasn't been a... That hasn't been as... Yeah. Um, I've got a nice little... Oh, I had to find all the slime, <laughs> slime chunks. So that's why I've got these random walled-off areas, because I didn't want to set up things that... Uh, would randomly start spawning slimes in the middle of my project. And this right here is where there's a double slime chunk. So both of these chunks are slime chunks. And I set up a little slime farm here that works surprisingly well. Uh, it, the next time I need a stack of slime blocks, I, I just uh, turn it off, wait a few minutes, and uh, good to go. I built the mob farm above it. And I want to add another layer to that eventually. But what I would like to do is build the floor out of nether brick. Because one of the other features in use Skyblock that's been kind of cool is we've got this biome changer. So for the whole island, you know, a radius of so many blocks or down to a chunk by chunk. You can change what biome each chunk is. Uh, you have to unlock, like you start with ocean, and you have to unlock the rest as you progress. Uh, so if I need a desert, I can go change a chunk or a couple of chunks into desert and uh, put down some sand and get uh, uh, the various passive mobs that come that are, arrive in a desert and... Uh, also, it's really good for the mob farm if you set that to desert because you get uh, less zombies and more skeletons, uh, which means more arrows. Always nice. And one of the other biomes in there, though, is sky. So you can use that, and it basically turn, turns the chunk or the island or however big or small the radius you set it sets it up like the end. So only Endermen will spawn there. Uh, likewise, you've got a Hell Biome, which is like the Nether. So only Nether Mobs will spawn there, uh, excluding Ghasts and Blazes. Uh, so that means that that farm has already done double duty as a gold farm. Though, I ran into one small issue. Um, because I wanted to make sure that spiders would actually fall to their death, I left it open from here to there. And unfortunately, as mobs fall, they sometimes try walking, which gives them a little mom more momentum one direction or the other. So when I try to use this as a gold farm, some of the zombie pigmen will end up in that little splash of water which keeps them from dying. And then they get pushed onto the fire, which doesn't hurt them. Uh, so where where I do a normal mob farm and a skeleton falls out of there, um, you know, the skeleton gets pushed in the fire and dies anyway. But when I try to use that as a nether, nether farm, um, the, the fire doesn't kill them. So I gotta, I gotta figure out a way to fix that. And my nice little cactus farm down under there. That's that whole area here. And I get a couple of sugarcane farms going. Uh, with the most rudimentary of all clocks. I still, I hate this. I need to, it's on my list to fix. 
It's on my list to fix. Uh, and the main reason for that is because one of the things that we have are challenges. Was July? Has it been that short? For some reason, it feels like it's been longer. No, it was a really short one. The season, I mean. One of the things in uh, U Skyblock is the these challenges where you know turn in sixty six cobblestone to get a leather and a ten percent chance to get a book and some XP and we ignore the currency because we didn't install the store for that one. Uh, other challenges are locked until you get the prerequisites out of the way, and so this has been one of the fun parts is trying to work on. Uh, Getting from your starter box, you know, a bucket of lava, a uh, piece of ice, uh, you know, that that kind of stuff. Uh, very simple starting gear and then figuring out how to make everything else and go as you go. Um, you know, I just realized I could probably get that emerald collector done because I think I got 60 emeralds now. One project at a time. Uh, one of the other things is with U Skyblock, you can put a specially formatted sign on a box and it'll tell you how far away from completing a particular challenge you are. Uh, I've been trying to get that master farmer done, but my pumpkin farm's a little slow and I haven't gotten around to building a proper farm. So, my expert farmer, I am three items short. I am two items short, <laughs> which means we should be able to get that done by by the end of today. Uh, I need, I, I don't know if I'm going to work on it today or not, but I, I need to get two uh, farmer villagers in here, but I'm going, to, I'm going to take the time to level them up and make sure that they get the trades for both melons and pumpkins because I do intend on taking those two little starter farms over over in the corner there and making them proper melon pumpkin farms um, I, I just kept the cartographers because they buy glass panes and when the villagers start selling glass blocks you end up with a net profit so you take a little bit of seed money <laughs> Uh, you take a little bit of starter emeralds, buy glass bo blocks from them, turn it into panes, go sell them to them, and profit. Uh, but I didn't want to have more than two because I, I can only have 16 villagers. Hey, how's it going, Axonim? Things have uh, grown a little bit since last time. <laughs> One of, the, one of the things that I do need to do that is uh, that my primary goal for today is to finish moving the last of the stuff. The, this is where the original island started. So I've got a little bridge going over to Rast's Island. i got a little bridge going to Medic's Island. Um, and just below where the island was, I put together the little cobblestone platform there. And this is where all the initial storage and I had trees growing up there and all that good fun stuff. And it's time to finally take this all down and uh, and rebuild it elsewhere. Yeah, I've been a little busy. A little busy. Only a little. I mean, there's a lot of island left down there and a lot of farms left to build. <laughs> it's just been that that, so, that time thing. So many farms, so little time. Uh huh. Exactly. But I need to move this downstairs, and yeah, that's what I thought. Let me uh. Oh. Mm 
this time though, I'm going to set up, um, I'm going to set up three hoppers. Now that I, now that I finally got access to, uh, iron tools. So how's everybody in chat doing today? After uh, the interminable wait, Arcadius finally got on to New World, and I saw a little, caught a little bit of that while I was at work and finishing up. That that looks uh, fantastic. Though I will not be joining them. I like the RPG. I do not like the MMO. Okay. Oh. Now I'm getting ready to, uh, <laughs> I'm getting ready to, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to keep this level that's down here in place once I'm done. I think my plan is to, this ladder is in the exact center of where the starter island uh, originated. So th this is the exact center of the starter island. And I want to take a design similar to the one that's below and get paths working out in the four cardinal directions. Um, and then do a big grass patch with maybe a fountain or a statue. Um, a big grass patch with the the opposite so if i do a fountain over there i'll do a statue over here and then mirror it on the other side um so statue here statue there fountain there fountain there or something something along those lines um and then start building a a little villa around that i'm not sure what materials though I had originally thought stone, but the more I look at the stone brick, the more medieval it looks, more European, and that's not quite the feel I want to go with. Um, I need to tear the all this stuff down from uh, the early starter tree farm, too. It's, uh, it's on the to-do list, and that's kind of what I want to do today, is I want to get the cobble generator moved. We, we are running a, a special addition to the cobblestone generator that um, causes it to, to have a percentage chance to generate something other than just cobblestone. So, so uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that when we, when we get this part finished. I just... I'd like to patch up the floor so I don't fall through the <laughs> fall through to my to my untimely death. Uh, we didn't start the counter at the beginning of the season because I was trying to get the island rank to show up on the tab, and, and I just I need one more plugin to make that happen, and I just haven't figured it out yet. Uh, so instead, for now, we've got the number of deaths since I started messing with that. Uh, some of us are a little bit further ahead than others. Hey, 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 hey. Let's, let's not talk about deaths for now. Uh, well, you, you're not the one who's thankful that I started counting after they built their nether spot. Uh, uh, that's, that's fair. <laughs> Just, uh, Mr. Medic did uh, fall to his death quite a lot. A few times. A couple. A lot. A couple. A few. Twenty. Ish. <laughs> Twenty-ish. Okay, we'll go with that. No. Yeah. No. Twenty-ish. Twenty adjacent. <laughs> we'll go with that one. All right. Uh, I need one more hopper because I want to make this three hoppers. So we'll grab one of those. I, I guess we'll have to start dipping into the iron. I, I don't know what I'll do. That iron farm. I've been waiting so long for that. You have no idea. Oh, it's been really? beautiful to have that back. 
<laughs> All right. I just trade people for iron. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to go the skyblock season this go round to just see what I can accomplish on my own. Uh, time management has made resource management uh, problematic. We'll go with problematic. That's as good a word <laughs> as any. That's a really polite way to put that. <laughs> so, you know, I, I don't have gobs of stone floating around because somebody decided to clear yet another pit all the way down to bedrock. <laughs> and, and, yeah, so. There's that. Uh, all right. Do I want to add a third something over here? Or do I just want to make that go across like a so? I think I'll just leave it across like that. Although, we're going to have the lava, the water, and three blocks. Oh, I need to move that. That's not centered. So the original cobble generator was three, four wide. One, two. Let's see if I can't get that down to three wide anyway. Yeah, digging chunks is uh, <laughs> is very much a pain. Although Arcadia seems to do that quite a bit. What? You know exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, no, I don't do that. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and is anybody buying? No, no, no. Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> <laughs> um, the excess comes in handy most of the time. We were able we were able to do a lot of projects that we might not otherwise have done simply because we had the excess to do it. So so there is there is that part. On the other hand. I'm surprised we just never found a use for the five thousand boxes of uh yeah. clay I brought back. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little saddened about the clay. Um, <laughs> um, well, the nice thing about diorite is that you mix the diorite with cobble and you get andesite. Uh, oh yeah, believe me, we would all love there to be some brick patterns for the fancy stones. Uh, brick pat, yeah, you got the full spread with uh, blackstone. Why not do the same thing for all the fancy stones? Go go back and and fix these guys. So we got uh, walls and and cracked variants and, and brick and all right. I'll stop now. <laughs> and we still need cracked variants of what we have. Don't don't start giving them more ideas. Yeah. Um. Oh. Ooh. Or granite buttons. It'd be kind of nice to have some granite buttons. No. <laughs> no. No, sir. <laughs> Why? Why not? What's wrong with because a granite button? You know, you don't need to tell them stuff like that, because what we'll get next patch is mm -hmm. granite buttons, and we'll never see concrete slabs and stairs. Oh, okay. That, that might be true. <laughs> so stop giving them ideas. We're busy. <laughs> to think things through better. I also don't need that one there or that one there because I want to keep access to those.
Here comes Medic. Uh, <laughs> How you doing? Welcome to the party. I am tired. I hear that. I don't need to make this that tall. Why am I making this that tall? Oh, because the water is going to have to come down at least one block. Never mind. Uh, do I want to do it like that? Sure. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, let me put the jungle away and grab a little more oak. Do I have oak stairs already made? I do. Alright. Be safe. And uh, I'll probably still be here by the time you get to... <laughs> I, I'm probably going to be on for a fair bit. Yep, yep. Especially be since I keep... Uh, <laughs> especially since I keep putting the wrong block down. I, I hear that's counterproductive. Yeah, days like that. What, counterproductive days? We just can't... Get your fingers to do what your brain is telling them to do, yeah. Yeah. Where are you at, Arcadius? Um, I am uh, on the sh coastal part. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not, not dogs. There, there's no I, way. I, I am I, happy I, to sit here and talk <laughs> to you guys. <laughs> I am happy to sit here and talk to you guys and everything, but there is no way I'm logging off this game. <laughs> what? I, can't blame you. I, I mean, look. As long as it as long as it took you to get there, like. <laughs> well, apparently, hello is requiring you. Welcome to, uh... to New World. Your gaming is important to us. Please wait. <laughs> you are yeah. six, seven, five, four in line. If you would like yeah. to uh, give up your name to some Yahoo in Eastern Bangladesh, then please leave now. <laughs> well, it's not just that bad. Uh, <laughs> apparently, Mojang's client does not like this client very well. Um, yes, uh, uh, a lot of people found that out because it is New World's anti-cheating software that doesn't like things. Yeah, well, Rayest was at... Uh, 3,000? Mm -hmm. 3,000. Tried to join you, and it kicked her back to 8,000. Oh. Because she had to reconnect. <laughs> Oops. Mm. Well, if it makes you feel any better, uh, I uh, went to the town and then parked myself in a corner real quick to go get something to eat. And when I come back, it said, you've been kicked because you were gone too long. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not going to try to log back in. Not yet. Well, I'm actually curious what the difference in queue for someone who has a character versus a new player. Um, log out real quick and find out. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you will find me auto running in a corner before that happens. <laughs> I don't know if it actually works, but I saw people doing it in the city earlier and. Uh, I figure it's worth a try. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure somebody's already on that and working on it. And <laughs> not in the way that people want. Oh. I don't know. These queue times are just horrendous. Yeah. That's what I hear. Uh, imagine how the uh, Europeans felt this morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. When the entire world was taking their key spots. I I really think that somebody uh, miscalculated in that they 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 knew that they wanted to stage things out, 
but they didn't think of the implications of the global name policy. That is the one thing about this whole thing that's really got me super confused. Like, like why... Why are they doing the global name policy? Because that oh. just that just seems a recipe for for trouble. Well, number one, the, the the main reason that they're doing it is for just that anti cheat. Um, much easier to to follow one person than to follow, you know, forty seven people that have the same name. Ah. Uh. That could be number fair. Number two, number two, um, they're wanting to get into the uh, competitive gaming circuit, uh, and there's a very high probability that sometime over the next year or so, they're going to open up the massive wars uh, worldwide instead uh. of just. Um, instead of just region wide, and hmm. you can't do that if you got a bunch of people with the same name. Hmm. Okay, I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah, there's, I was there's that actually makes more sense than I want to give it credit to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's there's reason behind the madness. It doesn't make it any better. I mean, it's still <laughs> kind of. Still kind of so, mad, you yeah. Had, you had to be up at two o'clock in the morning to reserve your name, and I mean, if you look at like some of the really big streamers, like Towley, huge Ow. streamer. Oh, oh mistakes. He made. didn't get. He did. There was four iterations of his name that he couldn't get because other people took it. Uh, hmm. Guild names. There's a lot of people that lost oh. their guild names. They didn't get there quick enough. Oh, the guild names doesn't surprise me. Uh, particularly since sometimes people can be jerks. And uh... Well, one of the guys that uh, that I watch on, on uh, stream, um, his name was taken. He was one of the first people on, and his name was taken. And the guy that actually took his name um, contacted him in his stream and said, how much are you going to pay me to get your name back? Oh. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm not a big streamer. I've got 87 followers. Yeah. But I didn't even go in and put in that I was streaming the game and what server I was going on for that reason. Yeah. Yeah. Because when beta came out, Medic Frog was already taken. Yeah, I remember you mentioning that. Ow. People. People, people. Special. Special's a word makes you wonder that a a name that is as unique as mine and I'm not even a big streamer and somebody had already taken it. Yeah. I mean, it could happen. Maybe. I wouldn't like to play those odds. I mean, especially worldwide. I mean, that's... Yeah. It may be a unique name, but... Yeah, I can only imagine, you know, somebody like, uh... Like Shroud, trying yeah. to get oh. his name. Uh, I have a funny feeling that some of the people, like, w with a certain volume of following, uh, were contacted ahead of time. Nope. No? Nope. Really? No, it was one of the big issues. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Someone's PR department didn't get the memo, apparently. Yeah, wow. you would think. You yeah. Would think that 
you know, the big giant streamers that they would have gave them guys a five minute head start or something. I mean, uh, just go ahead or, and make their character or, early. Well, that, 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 that's least. that's where I was going. Like, if you've got, if you've got, you know, uh, 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 a ninja level following, uh, and somebody, you know, you go, hey, are, are you planning on playing New World? Do you want to make sure that you get your handle? Um, Certainly, you're not going to go down through everybody's everything, but you could do at least that much. Yeah. Well, uh, a lot of the big streamers were were actually paid by Amazon to put the stream yeah. the game. You know, and they a lot of the big streamers got a uh, care package from Amazon with mm -hmm. a whole bunch of goodies in it. You know, in that care package should have been a, you know, here's a code to log in yep. five minutes early to reserve your name. Yeah. Or, um, I, I know it's Amazon and Microsoft and you're getting into that thing, but tie into the Xbox gamer tag where people already have a handle and then you don't have to or, worry about reserving it because or, you've already got it. Or since, uh, you know, they're so big into tying it into your Amazon Prime account. Yeah, just... use your Twitch handle. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that too. That would work as well. And since you're Amazon, you're already going to have that anyway. So that, that actually makes a little more sense. I mean, as much as you can. So I got that moved. Uh, that's going to go on the back burner. No pun intended. Um, what was the other thing? that There was something else that I really, really needed to work on. Still no rest. That's right. She's trying to find herself. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently the migration like removed her skin so yeah I'm, I'm still trying to figure that one out because because and now it won't let me log in despite I, i'm having a whole bunch of problems with it ah it's telling uh, me my username password combination is invalid i went to microsoft and tried to reset everything mm -hmm. reset my passwords there to see if you did know, you make a there, did so you make a and, new microsoft account or did you tie it into your existing nope. one Tied it into my existing one. Okay. I had a lot of problems too, Reyes. Wow. Uh, wow. Yeah, a lot of problems. Like to the point to where I almost said screw it. But hmm. I have not done the migration yet. And you guys are making me scared about it. Uh, I did the <laughs> migration and I had it done in like five minutes flat. Well, computers fear you. <laughs> as long as something does. It's, it's not that the computers <laughs> fear him. It's that it's the one thing he can't botch on. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, because he like had put like maxed out all of his skill points in it. <laughs> it's like Ryan trying to roll a use magic device check. Like there's not even a question. Like I could roll a two and I'd still like tap it out. Uh, getting ready to get back into some of that too. Are you? What? Use a magic device? No. Uh, well, yes, actually, <laughs> given the character I'm getting ready to play. Why did I have that barrel there? Oh, oh, okay. You know what's funny is, uh, my Wujin does not have that as a, a, uh, class skill. Um, it, I'm actually not surprised at that. It, I don't think it... You're not a yeah, I was going to say because traditionally the class isn't trained. Uh, no, it's not even so much that. Uh, you don't need a use magic device if it's something on your spell list. So for a lot of the arcane casters, it's just not an issue. Uh, why, why should yeah. you have a skill that you don't need? 
But a Wujin has his own spell list. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have the wizard sorcerer spell list. Yep. And it's the same for bards and some of the other ones, too. It just means that you gotta you gotta stick to stick to your stuff. Oh, that's it. You guys are done. No more iron for you. Oh, no. You lie. Why do you lie to me? Don't hold that emerald up. If you're not gonna trade with me, don't hold that emerald up. Jerk. I'll set the zombie loose on you. I got golden potions. I will convert you and change you back. He's got the golden potions. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave this All I know is, uh, off for now. Saturday, I know it's Saturday. I've, I've got two coffee pots that are going to be going at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> are you streaming? Nice. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, um, because I, I'm definitely streaming tomorrow and Thursday, mm -hmm. and then I'll stream Sunday and Monday. But I'm not sure about Saturday. Oh, I don't know. Okay. I think Saturday just might be a relax and play all day long by myself well not by myself but uh, yeah i know what say you mean. what yeah not not by myself but you know we know we know what you meant sometimes sometimes it's nice to just lean back and enjoy the game without having to worry about all the things that go along with streaming you know looking for a hoss seven nine seven 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 eight seven 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 you know plus um i'm sure that like, you know, today, it's been almost all of my time doing uh, crafting and gathering. I'm sure that's not something that people just want to watch me do all day. Eh, you'd be surprised. I was about to say, um, I had like nine people watching me do it all day, so. People watch people cut soap. <laughs> that's a fair point also. <laughs> Just saying. That's right. I wanted to move this guy too. Uh, Sadly, it might be one of those people. <laughs> where do I want to move this guy? I want to keep him somewhere nearby. Learning carving techniques. If I didn't have to work today, I would have streamed it today. But what I feel lot. bad for are the people that took off work today oh. and just had a full day of <laughs> queue. Well, no, those those people were up at the same time I was, so they wouldn't mm. have had a queue. Uh, no, to hear you talk about it, you still had a queue. Didn't yeah, you? 187, but I went through in like, it was like three minutes. Okay. <laughs> I was talking to uh, one of the uh, other streamers that I've been talking to about doing some content together, and he's currently playing it right now. And uh, <laughs> he's like, "So how'd you do today?" <laughs> I said, "Well, I'm I said I'm level 15. Uh, I said, no, I'm level 16 or 17, and uh, you know I'm I've got a 50 in." Almost all of the gathering and crafting professions, with the exception of fishing and mining. <laughs> and he's like, you've been on since 3 a.m.? I was like, yeah, I started playing at 3 a.m. He's like, that's all you've done? <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, well, if you really want to get technical, I leveled one guy to level 11 on the EU servers until 8 o'clock in the morning, and then I switched over to the NAE server and leveled the other guy to 16 or 17. 
I've done quite a bit. Mm. Need more slime. I hope I don't. Oh, grab and a slime. and I did all that while working eight hours today. You killing me, Smalls? I mean, you know, the sad thing is, is it's not like I could focus on the game. <laughs> I would run it to a tree and click it to start harvesting it, and then I would do computer work. And then when that was done, I'd run to the next tree, click it, start harvesting it, and I'd do computer work. In the boat. How many times did you die? Uh, I only died once, but that was my own fault. What's the penalty for dying in this game? <laughs> Durability on your uh, your equipment. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Isn't dying penalty enough? No, not always. Not always. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was just it, curious if you lost gold or something. No, it's it's not enough to matter. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's actually one of the ways of fast traveling in the world. To <laughs> set up a camp where you want to fast travel to. And then and die? Then you, go, you go do your quest oh, and everything. Seriously? When you're done, you die and uh, res back at your camp. Like you didn't have to go get your body and all your stuff? Like mm, legit? Nope. nope. That seems sketch. <laughs> it's not Minecraft, brother. No, yes. but even oh, well. even in some of the other MMOs, you had to pick up stuff afterwards. Yeah, no, like, even in WoW, you need to go back for your body, or... I never had to. Well, I mean, you have to to, to res, unless you take res sickness. Oh, uh, that's what I mean. But you didn't lose any equipment or anything. Oh. I'm trying to think of the name of the game that you did. Minecraft. No. <laughs> Seriously. I think it was Star Wars. Didn't you lose something in Star Wars every time you died? No. No, otherwise well, I would have lost a lot of stuff. So yeah, the <laughs> you know, the, the one time I died it was my fault, and that was because I flagged myself for PvP because I'm like, you know what, I want to try PvP. And I was <laughs> uh Yeah. I was I was on the EU server, actually, and I was a uh, marauder in a syndicate town. Hmm. And... Why, why did you do that? <laughs> that seems like yeah, a bad I got, idea. I got beat up by, uh, you know, four of them at the same time, and they were all, like, at least three levels higher than me. I, I didn't touch them. I didn't, get a, I didn't get a shot off before they killed me. Wow. Okay, yeah. so there is no safe zone, like, town... <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. When you're in town, um, it, they they can't get to you. Oh, I thought you just said you were in town. No, 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 no. I you you can only um, he was in a syndicate town. You can only um, queue up for PvP while in town. Once you leave the town is when you actually are player versus player. And it was a syndicate-owned town. I was a marauder. So when I left the syndicate town, it was me versus all the uh, syndicates that were out there. Oh. Okay. I see what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> and I Just was time. running. I bet. <laughs> not, but, not fast enough, apparently. <laughs> uh, not when you got one guy that hits you with a gravity well and the second guy hits you with an ice storm. Mm. Yeah, ice storm makes you walk very slowly and gravity well sit, sucks you back into the center of it. <laughs> oh, that's dirty. <laughs> that's mean tactics right there. Yeah, I approve. They, uh, they got me. <laughs> so that was my one and only time dying today. And it was it was my fault. I couldn't get mad or anything because I'm the one that queued up for PvP. Hey, you can always get mad. Doesn't mean it's justified, but you can always get mad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Spoken like a true Karen. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
you know it's so sad. So my my work buddy, uh -oh. her name is Karen. <laughs> oh. Is she a Karen? I no no no. She's really okay. sweet. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I told her, I said, you should have heard my brother's laughter when I told him I work with a Karen. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she hears that a lot. Yeah, she told me the other day, she's like, could you imagine going through life now with the name Karen? That. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's she... all right. If uh, if they ever decide to make the male version of a Karen, I'm sure it's going to be a Mike. Oh, no, they already mm, have no. one. I thought it was a Ken or something. Something like a that, what? yeah. Yeah. A what? A Mike. Ken. Uh, uh, Ken. <laughs> you said it. Hey, Mike. Oh, yeah, well, because you, <laughs> you planted that suggestion in there. See, you agreed. No. If I were me, I would have put the emeralds. So that's the problem. I can't I can't blame Rayest for not being able to find stuff in storage anymore. Well you can. Yeah, I can. I probably will anyway, but How you doing over there, Rayest? Okay, you got melons and pumpkins. You don't buy Jack, though, but okay. <laughs> All right, fine. You'll do. Ray C is either AFK or ignoring me. No, I didn't realize my com my microphone was still muted because I was cursing. <laughs> my uh, channel rating appreciates that. But I haven't burnt down my computer yet, and I'm just going to say we all need to be grateful for that. <laughs> oh, apparently, uh, New World's done that to enough people already. <laughs> what, well, caused them to burn their computer down? Yeah, no, it's uh, a known issue with a certain uh, video card. It like, just destroys it. Oh. Don't say that. Don't say that. I have had that happen. When you take that back, you knock on wood, you go find some salt. <laughs> well, I... I doubt you have that card. I'm just saying. You go knock on yeah. wood, find some salt, break a wood, all the things. <laughs> Did you say break I, a mirror? Because I was getting ready to say I don't think breaking a mirror is going to do much. I uh, no, there are a couple of superstitions that breaking a mirror is the counter. Huh. Okay. Um. Either way, my point. Need to start uh, putting some more spruce together. All right, please be where I want you. Yes. Hi, friend. No, no. Hello. Stay in your cubby. There we go. There we go. Good villager. Man, I'm having to scrap equipment just to be under my <laughs> encumbrance trying to head back to town. <laughs> oh, encumbrance. The eternal struggle. I don't know what's worse. Encumbrance or inventory slots? Oh, uh, <laughs> Ah, yeah, I'm going to say think, inventory. Uh, I don't think... But that's because inventory is always my problem. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Anon would uh, would like it too much, considering the fact you don't get your first bag until level 10, and then you only get one bag for every 10 levels after that. You can't make them? Yeah, no, you can make slots. them. You just don't get slots. the slots. No. You can make as many as you want. Don't mean you can use them. <laughs> Alright. I need... to get the next Yahoo. You, 
you able to use that uh, face piece yet? Yeah, I've got it on. Are, and how's your uh are they still going yet? fishing rod going uh oh dude fishing uh, is amazing Chuck, i am trying to build up my village so i've got my little trading hall that i'm working on here but these guys i didn't care what else they traded um as you level up the villagers some of them have a random chance to trade different things so for this guy i wanted to make sure that he would buy melons and buy pumpkins um, if I got him to that place and he didn't buy both of those, he was going to, uh, be relocated to a new island permanently. If you catch my drift. Hi guys. I, I I just need one of you. Why why are you no not all of you just one of you? <laughs> Who's curious? Anybody want to come look on my mouse while I do my eight o'clock routine? Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <that, that, laughs> <laughs> it sounded better in my head before I said it, but that's I'm gonna go with it. it seems get, like a get the ball. Like a good one of you. Not both of you. Just one of you. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Reyes, I think Arcadius needs you. Watch. Why? To wiggle N his mouse while he goes does the same clock routine. Huh? <laughs> Don't so do he it. he doesn't go... He doesn't get kicked out of the server. He needs somebody to constantly move his mouse around and move him around in game. Oh, okay. I'll be right there. That's why I had the hatchet out. Alright, let's just do that right there. Hi, friend. Alright, you'll buy carrots. I deeply appreciate that, good sir. Alright, you'll buy pumpkins. Good. I needed apples. And you'll buy melons too. Sweet. There you go. No, come on. Up the stair. There you go. Be a good villager. Go on up there. There we go. Beautiful. That wasn't beautiful. Alright, let's clear out my temporary space here. And see what's missing, because I think that's everybody on this side. Oh no, I need a, I need a, I need a new mason. Let me go put a... Wow. So you know how... Oh, actually, you don't. Arcadius does. I'll wait till he gets back. <laughs> Arcadius has stepped out for a moment. If you please leave a message. Alright, if I were me, where would I have put the apples? Is it in here? No. 
Uh, oh, to answer your question, Reyes, I'm getting on this morning, not last night. Huh? You sent me a message yesterday asking if I was getting on last night or this morning. <laughs> oh, gotcha. I, I was already in bed. I I absolutely destroyed my knee yesterday. Ooh. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, my first break. I was walking back inside the house. And your, your first break of a knee or your first break is in you took a, a rest period, also known as a break? My first work break Okay. Ah. of the day. I was walking oh. back into the house and the one, what I call my good knee, <laughs> which just means it's not as bad as the other one, um very loud snap in several mm. grinding pops mm. and about 10 minutes later I was able to actually get up off the floor mm. oh but oh, no I had man. yeah I could not put pressure on it at all and I was in severe pain all day so I ended up going to bed like 7.30 last night I'm sorry yeah it still hurts like crazy but at least it's better than it was last night. And before you say, why didn't you go to the doctor? <laughs> two, two reasons. One, I can't afford to uh, miss time off from training. And two, I was not going to miss the launch of New World. Seriously? I, I was with you oh. on the first one, but... I'm not about to sacrifice my knee for, uh... Well, my knee's already been sacrificed. Uh, it's a shame. Plus, you know... You know where I would have had to gone that late at night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll give you that one, at least in part. What are we going to do with all these pumpkin pies? on my weed. Alright, let's uh, let's try to find a new mason. See, every 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 villager gets two trades at each level. Some of them have different options and it's just a random roll of the dice so that mason that i had he'll always buy clay he'll always buy stone but instead of buying any of the fancy stones he only sold me polished versions of the fancy stones i don't i don't need that i need him to buy the fancy stones matter of fact if i could get somebody that actually bought diorite that would be that would be fantastic i would greatly love that how much do you want for it? No, no, no. The, these guys. I would like these guys to buy diorite. Come on. Make more villagers. Should, should I turn away? Get in the boat. You, good sir, are about to become my new mason. Um, for serious. Yes. Yeah, they're, they're all clustered around the gate, so I can't get my new mason out of the area. <laughs> and the little kids are chasing me around while I'm in the boat. <laughs> Seriously, guys? This this is this is not how this is supposed to work.
Move back. No, not on the boat. Oh, are you are you kidding me? Aren't, aren't you guys supposed to go like play on a bed or something? I mean, I don't really want to encourage that kind of thing, but go 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 jump on the bed. Go jump on the bed. Seriously, why are you attached to this guy? He did nothing. If I stop moving around, will you please leave me alone? Or do I have to wait until nighttime? I feel like Ray asked yelling at the villagers, even though I know they're not going to do anything. Is seriously just gonna follow me? Oh come on! There you go. Nope, nope. Stay there. Oh come on! I'm not doing so good. You're not helping me. Alright, fine. Follow me. You can be my new mason. That's it. Keep a wandering. Fine. You want it? The job's yours. Come on. Hop on up there. You want it to be difficult, hop on up there. There you go. That's what you wanted to do. Oh. Three, four, five, six, right? Seven, one. Okay, yeah, okay. I am at the cap for villagers again. Let me uh let me see if my mason will actually do some something useful. I need clay. I also need to see if there's any coffee left. No, oh, that's actually a little more than I intended. Oops. I really need to get a, uh, I need to get fortune on that thing. Mr. Mason, what you got for me? No, you need to level first. There we go. Alright, you'll buy stone, which is good. Finish your level. these two to be you buying something, not selling me something. Ah, Reza, 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 Reza. Alright, do I want to retire you two, or do I just want to keep on keeping on, just let you... I 
may just have to let you off the hook. You can at least give me a useful, um, Fine. I'll take that. I'll take that. Now, you always get quartz and quartz pillars, which is fine. Uh, I'll take the regular terracotta and glazed. Uh, fine. You can survive, I guess. At least you gave me terracotta. Alright. Put that away for now. Let's put that away for now. Put that away for now. And... There we go. I'm going to need some more emeralds here in a minute, too. So I can start working on my librarians. But first... Oh, it's going to be trouble when I get down to the last two, isn't it? I might have to off the... Uh, I mean might have to reconsider the employment of a couple of them. Oh, that's right. They're not panicked, so they're going to stay in bed until the morning. So I gotta settle on a melon pumpkin farm idea. I might do I might do the one that that medic built in season one. Although that might be a little overproductive for uh, for my needs here. I might go back and just do a, a larger scale version of my my typical starter melon pumpkin farm. That that is not my typical starter melon pumpkin farm. Um. I need to get somebody with name tags because I've got to silence that guy. It irks me. For no good reason, but it does. Alright guys. Figure out your life again. Back to your workstations. Oh, it's not that time of day yet. We do have a, a resource pack, so that way the clock will... Uh, Get a little green dot, a little emerald at the bottom when it is time to trade with the villagers. So we are literally staring at the clock while we wait for these guys. I wonder why we have that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Rast. Why, why, why do we have a marker on the clock for uh, letting us know when it's time to trade? I don't know. Look at your station! <laughs> A duck. A duck, B duck. Yeah, I, I need to silence that guy back there. Come on, guys. You can't start early. There we go. Hi! More emeralds and no, nope. don't lie to me. What? Hey, come on, let skinny back there go. There we go. All right. Are all of you guys lying to me? 
Look, I heard your work at your station. Y'all are holding up those emeralds like you're actually going to trade me something. Nothing. 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 Okay. Alright, that's fine. I, I got what I needed. Actually... I can fill that back up because I'm going to have to start trading with those guys again. Let's let them go at it. And there goes the iron farm. Beautiful zone. Ish. <laughs> Beautiful adjacent. Alright, so there's half my trading hall done. Let me go grab a lectern, and I'm going to need paper. And I'm going to need books. Oh, and I got the levels now, too. So let me go ahead and go like a so. And with the... Then I can take the Luck of the Sea, Unbreaking, and Lure. Although that's going to get cost me 15. What if I switch it around? That's going to cost me 17. Nope, I had it right the first time, apparently. There we go. There's a better fishing rod. Now all I need is mending. Although... What does Luck of the Sea go up to? Does it just go up to 2? Or is there a Luck of the Sea 3? I'm having a short-term memory moment. 3. Does it go up to 3? Ah. Yeah. Of course. Alright. I'll have to figure that out later then. Eh, or figure out what I'm going to do about that later. Uh, I... I came over here for a reason. For a lectern. Alright, who's first on the list? Efficiency. Hello. Honestly, I guess if I get one of the other ones, I'm not going to be that. Fine. For some strange reason, pumpkin pie is not that filling. Actually, I should probably set this up over here. That way it's a little bit closer to, uh, to where he's going to end up going. Flame's not on my list, is it? Matter of fact. My memory being what it is. Let me go ahead and go back to my short list. Uh, I would... There's more than these books that I would like, but I'll take whatever he gives me as secondary and tertiary trades. Let me grab my handy-dandy dry erase notebook. I before E except after no. 
I need sharpness protection. Oak touch, unbreaking, and mending. Protection, fortune, silk touch, unbreaking. And unbreaking goes up to. Oh. Breaking goes up to which? Three or four? Unbreaking goes up to three. Fortune. Fortune. Fortune goes up to three. Protection goes up to four. Sharpness goes up to five. And efficiency goes up to five. begin. Have you changed your ways? No. What you got now? Respiration. What you got now? A bookshelf. How about now? Blast protection. <sighs> Sufficiency three. Close. Blast protection. Come on, man. Be nice. Sharpness one is not helpful. <sighs> Difficult villager. No. Oh, it's after dark. You're not going to do anything for me anyway. Not now. Do I have my last two pumpkins yet? I don't think I do. I have one of the last two pumpkins. <sighs> oh! That's where all the extra slime blocks went. <laughs> it's like I knew I had more somewhere. I put them there where I wouldn't lose them. Go see if our guy's gonna change his ways. One could even hope that he will mend his ways. Hi, friend. No, nope, not time yet.
Don't you nab me. Alright. It's not time for you yet. Did the uh, eternally sad puppy get taken care of? Okay. I wasn't sure. I blinked. The villagers' fate. I am deeply, deeply tempted to change the villagers so that way one eye is a different color. But not tell anybody. Just see who notices. Oh, yeah, it is time now. Okay. What you got for me this time? Thorns. No. Uh, ooh, silk touch? Yes, please. <laughs> Hi, friend. All right. Let me, uh, let me figure out which hole is the one that you need to go into, and we'll get you right there. Silk Touch is... Near the end. Um, although, honestly... Let's get you all the way down here. There you go. Pathfind over. Keep going there, buddy. No! There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, yeah. There you go. Find your spot. There's your new home. Vundaba. Alright. Silk touch is done. I mean, I'm sure he's going to give me some other really nice stuff before too long. Actually, while I'm thinking about it. Um, I've got another right pick somewhere over here. Uh, that's my efficiency for... Oh, never mind. Then I'll put Silk Touch on this one. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to need a pick. I'm going to need a shovel. I'm going to need an axe. waste those on there yet. Uh, actually, for five emeralds, that's not bad either. I didn't even notice that part. I got so focused on the silk touch, I didn't even realize it was a cheap silk touch. 
Uh, ooh. Well, that solves my luck of the sea problem. It's expensive, though. 29 emeralds? Great googly moogly. Although, that solves my lantern problem, too. Level up. That's a yes. All right. So there's my glass and... Ooh, I got a lure. Uh, lure goes up to what? Three? Clocks and compasses. I'll wait until you refresh and uh, buy the... Um, buy more glass off of you because now I can start working these guys and get the emeralds <laughs> nah, I guess I can get you uh, leveled up into the next come on level up there we go oh I need more glass panes all right that's fine Ah, you bum. Come on. Level. Ow. All right, uh, are you going to do another trade now? Mm, nope. Not until tomorrow, because I'm not buying a bunch of compasses. I'm not buying a bunch of clocks. You won't sell me any more lanterns. Uh, I've already got luck of the sea for now, or enough luck of the sea. Oh, man, and a little bit of trading got that silk touch down to one, at least for a short time. Glorious, glorious. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what the next guy can do. Let me see if I can get the next guy with less fuss. Because I got six more slots. Three, six, six more guys. Okay. How are you? Hello. Into the boat. Into the boat. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're not doing this again. We're not doing this again. Why do you feel the need to be social? And you're going to join. There we go. Wait, where did you come from? Oh, the gossip train. <sighs> Listen, Bob, we're going to have words before too long. Let's, uh, let's see what we can get going next. Oh, we still got a little bit of daylight left. Nice job right here, buddy. No? That's right. It's after dark. And you guys have a union thing or something. I'm at the dregs of my spruce. 
Yeah. Lumber Farm's up next. Or at least a lumber platform. Hi, friend. Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys aren't going to reset yet. Well, this is starting to look a little bit better. to get an early start. There we go. Hi guys. Let's get that start going. Let's buy a bunch of glass, which will get you leveling up. Let's make a bunch of glass panes, which will get you leveled up. Is it really worth seven emeralds for an item frame? I'm, gonna, I'm doing okay on leather. the zombie that's in the iron farm. Iron motivation? VP of iron farm production. There we go. Still not going to open up more of those glass trades? Fine. All right, let's head back on over to the farm. First things first. We're going to uh, break into the wall here. And we're going to go silence me. He is now silenced. There we go. VP of Iron Farm Production. <laughs> I love it. Also, uh, I feel the irrational need to throw a few of these guys around. I mean, there's no good reason to, but why not? All right. Let's see what we can get out of the next guy. Oh, 
What you got for me? Uh, I've already got a Silk Touch guy. And he's cheaper. How about now? No. Unbreaking three? Absolutely. Yes, please. Nineteen's a little more pricey than I'd like, but I'll take it. Alright, where's my unbreaking guy gonna go? you going right here Good night. Yeah, yeah, it's time for me to hit the sack. I hear that. Have a good night. I shall, I shall see you tomorrow. Yep. There you go. Come on. Get into your cubby. Nice and comfy cubby. Right? a half step further. There we go. Beautiful. Like a fine cask of Amontillado. to a boat? No, apparently not. Come on. Out the wall. There you go. Come on, friend. You, uh, you're about to take a take a journey. Keep going. That's it. Keep going. I don't want to upset the guys over there, so uh, we're we're not gonna do this the way I'd just as soon manage. Keep going. Keep going. No, 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 you, no, no, no. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. There's nothing but rust over on the other edge of there. There you go. Bye-bye! The Iron Golem has left an on Junior's Island. Alright. No, I just want one of you. Just one. There you go. There we go. Look at that. Stay on that side. There we go. There we go. All right, let's, uh, who's next? I got Silk Touch and what was the other one I got? Unbreaking? 
I forgot to check that off the list. Short term memory, something or other. Let me go check that now. I do not want duplicates. And this guy who's not going to trade anything with me right now. Alright, so we've got Silk Touch and Unbreaking 3. If I could get the uh, the mending guy, that would be absolutely awesome. Wouldn't you like to be a mending guy too? And this is how you get villagers to trade what you want. By yelling and grumbling and going, ah, What else do you want to trade me? Well, now that Arcadius is back on the line, I can ask him uh, about something they were talking about on Cord Gillers earlier today. And see <laughs> how he feels about the impending live-action Cowboy Bebop. Or was that not one of your preferred animes? Oh, well, I mean, Cowboy Bebop is a classic. I mean, I hope they do it justice is all I can really say. <laughs> that was that was pretty... Uh, since anime is a little outside of Tom's bailiwick, he didn't really have much to say. Um, for Brian, though, who absolutely adores Cowboy Bebop, he's hoping that it's going to be one of those things that... Uh, brings more fans to the franchise that uh the way he the way he termed it even though the 1980s dune movie was not the best representation of the dune universe um it was a movie that was good enough to cause a large number of people to go look at the book and become fans of the book universe and he's hoping that the li live action Cowboy Bebop will do the same thing for that franchise where it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be great. It just has to be good enough to get more people into the fold. Exactly. Uh, I'm pretty much right there with him. It's the anime itself was amazing. The storytelling, the plot arc, everything about it, it was it was done when they could actually write a story. Now, for those not familiar with the franchise, can you give a uh, decent little summation, summary? Okay, the show starts off uh, a little oddly um, <laughs> in the fact that you have a scene where the main character, the, the primary of the characters is dead <laughs> oh um he uh he appears dead he's been shot and he's laying there and a, a rose is dropped by his open arm and stuff and it goes on from that point to show him on a spaceship real firefly-esque style okay. spaceship uh they're just a beat up tanker right and he is a bounty hunter. They call him Cowboys. Okay. And uh, he and his partner, who I am completely missing the name of right now, and that's going to make me upset, are out trying to find enough money to make food because it starts off the scene <laughs> with them. Uh, this is a. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spoil this part. He's like. Uh, come get dinner, and Spike, the main character, goes out there to sit down with him, and he's like, Jeb. There you go, Jeb. Uh, <laughs> Jed. Jed. Is it Jeb or Jed? Anyway. Um, what what are, what are we eating? Oh, uh, beef and peppers. <laughs> where, where, where's the beef? Well, it's it's mostly peppers. And you, why do you call it beef and, and this is really funny like back and forth between the two of them because they're broke 
and they need to, you know, get a bounty so they can get paid and stuff. But anyway, um, slowly over the course of the series, you understand more about why Spike is being a bounty hunter when he clearly has a ton more training than that. And same thing with Jed, you figure out why he's there and, and what brought him to that lifestyle when, again, he has way more skills than, you know, your standard bounty hunter should or would have on their own. Um, and a lot more contacts. Like is, bounty hunting, using... uh, is bounty hunting a low-skilled profession in this universe? It's a everything profession in this universe. If you can't do any other job, any numbskull with a gun can go try and collect a bounty. Okay. Because um, the, the, the way the way the way you, you said you, more skill that you know made me wonder about that. Yeah, no. If you had skill, you'd be a police officer, or you would work private security, which is the big dog stuff. Okay. Or one of the government factions, because. Uh, all planets in the solar system are run by you know different organizations like mars is this real uh commercial capitalism type uh government and you know so on and so forth but um so you get their stories you get other characters mixed into the fold and so on and so forth and the final episode uh at the very end of it all you get to see the scene at the very beginning episode played out in full. Ah, uh. it is, it is amazing. Uh, the movie is okay. Um, for the fans of the series, I would definitely suggest watching it. I like it. It's a nice little, uh, relaxing piece. It brings in some history, stuff like that. Um, that that's beginning to sound like uh, Farscape, where it's one of those things that you don't want to watch the movie alone. You really need to have seen the series, and it's a nice way to kind of close up some of the loose ends. Uh, it, it doesn't really close up anything. <laughs> it's no. just it's a standalone story, but you don't want that story first. You you want the other part first. So it, it definitely comes after the series. But it is just a it's a really nice fluff piece it's one of those things that if you're a fan of the series you're going to enjoy sitting here watching this so hmm. i didn't want to give away too much of the yeah, story no so no no I, I and i appreciate I, and i appreciate that because again I, I hope i gave enough to entice people to want to watch it but not enough that i ruined anything <laughs> Or at least anything of any importance. That that that's actually yeah. been one of the ongoing debates for uh, Tom and Brian is they they run a segment called Spoiler in Time, and then people write angry letters that they spoiled stuff. It's like uh, the the section is called Spoiler in Time. Yeah, I was gonna say, the, what were you expecting? The, the, <laughs> Or, or in, and in the case of one particular letter, the TV show that they were talking about in spoiling time had come out a decade ago. Like, you, you had a decade. Yeah, really. Uh, come on, man. Give me something I want. No, not knock back. I'm going to knock you back. <laughs> now, now. <laughs> he treating our hired help like that. Oh, he's about to see how I treat the hired help in a minute. He's a half slab away from the void. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I got the sudden image in my head of... Uh... Oh, uh, uh... From Firefly, where he's floating in space, going, well... Here I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I oh. do love me some Firefly. Yeah. Um now that that is a series if anybody watching hasn't seen you, you yeah. have my permission to cancel this sh uh, show right this second and go watch that uh, no, 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 no. Fin finish up here. <laughs> it's it's waited this long. 
Ah, oh, that, that's expensive, but you're finally giving me mending. Emeralds aren't going to be a problem. Thank you. Mending. <laughs> I was about to say, are you fussing about how much he's charging for it? I mean, yes. Really? I mean, really, dog? Yeah. <laughs> Look, this guy gave me Silk Touch for, uh, well, now it's down to un-emerald, but he's normally five. So you know, if he can give me if he can give me silk touch for five, I can I can surely get mending for somewhere in the same ballpark. All right, hi right, guys. What else you got? Banners and more banners. My inventory is starting to get a little cluttered. That's okay. All right. So I get to put my mending guy. Is there any coffee left over there? Okay. Then, uh, I might have to grab another half cup. Grazie. Hmm? Half. Uh, sure. No. What you're not hearing is Rayest trying to figure out why I'm not going for the pumpkin creamer. Because tis the season when all things must taste like pumpkin, apparently. Yeah. Eh, that'll be good enough. Come on, buddy. Thank you. All right, go on. Find your new life. Your new life is down the hall. Go down the hall of slime. That, uh, okay, that doesn't sound enticing. Keep going. There you go. Look, I'm just going to keep closing the way behind you. Down there lies a slab. Beyond that slab lies your future. Is that, is that what we're going with? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it is his future. Come on, man. I, I, I kind of wish you could, you know, do do this and get them to follow you. You know, I got a number to my hand. Come on. Come on. Or do I have to wait until the morning when you decide that you, you need your station to work? Come on, man. Why are you doing this to me? Get out of the corner. If you're not in trouble. He is. Don't lie to him. He's in a lot of trouble. Well, he's about to be if he doesn't get out of the corner. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, well, I gotcha. No. I don't have enough emeralds to do more than that. Jerk. Yeah, man. Keep going. Down the hall. Down. No, no, no. Not back into the corner. Ah. I love getting random XP. Mm-hmm. It's always nice. Mm-hmm. No, oh, and apparently, uh, I forget who... Somebody got, uh, oh, hi, there you are, in your place and everything. Thank you, eventually. Uh, somebody got Straczynski to be a part of a Babylon 5 reboot. 
Okay. So th this is the original Babylon 5 screenwriter uh, getting ready to reboot Babylon 5. Um, I am somewhat conflicted. Okay, maybe more than somewhat. I, I am very conflicted. On the one hand, I, Babylon 5 was a wonderful artifact of its time, and while the visual effects have not aged well, uh, I don't know that it was really prime reboot territory. I mean, apparently somebody thought so because they rebooted it, but... Uh, I didn't think we were, I didn't think we were kind of at that place. I have four words for you. What? Live action Lion King. Oh, yes, but we, we know the mouse is a muddy grubbing. Uh, but still, we, we've hit that point. We went to the bottom of the barrel. We scraped it out. We broke the barrel in the process <laughs> and kept scraping, surprised that there was no more barrel and now are in the stone beneath. Yeah, but I mean, uh, I mean, surely, surely Disney had more, um, fairy tales to pillage. No? Not that other people haven't pillaged. <laughs> so now they're under their licensing rights. <laughs> is, is that where we're at? I think so. Hmm. Well, that stinks. I don't think I've managed to come ahead in any of this. I'm short emeralds again. Alright. Uh, oh, I need more paper too. So... Anyway, I, I do. I there, there's a part of me that hopes that that it turns out well. Although I, man, part part of what made Babylon Five great were some of the some of the actors that uh, you're going to be hard pressed to to replace in any meaningful sense. Like I don't think you're going to get another Andreas Kostelos to do Jakar like. You know, I, I, I just don't think you're going to get that character out of that. Uh, what else? Oh, there was something else that they had announced that, uh, um, that kind of stuck in my mind, too. Uh, the Foundation series is turn. uh, seems to be turning out pretty well for the most part. Um, at least as long as you're not overly familiar with the books. But I mean... We, Which series? Uh, Foundation series. It's an Isaac mm -hmm. Asimov series that uh, I I didn't want to mention, but uh, I, I haven't... I never get around to reading that one. I wanted to. I, I just never quite got around to it. Come on. Into the into the boat. One of you, get in that boat now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that happened. Mm-hmm. Oh. 
And Netflix has apparently started its own uh, announcement uh, conference thingy called Tadum, where they announced so many so many new shows. Oh no 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 no! Oh, oh I made a mistake. Mistakes were made. Get back in the boat. Get back in the boat. I forgot to close the door. Um. So many announcements were made that, that it led Tom to open up with, we used to joke about this being a show about Netflix, but they announced enough things that we could have made an entire show about Netflix. <laughs> to include wow. the, the trailers from uh, The Witcher dropping and that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, I'm curious how that's going to go. Come on, man. it's right there. It's right there. Come on. There you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Something useful. Um, I'm curious how how the Witcher series is going to go. I mean... You and everyone else. <laughs> it's apparently already been cleared for a season three. Wow. So at least at least there's that because what one of the big concerns that everybody had was you know Netflix is pretty good for just doing you know two seasons and then going eh it's just not hot enough. Um, what are you talking about? They'll do a season, give it one week, and announce that they're not doing another series. Yeah, yeah. So there there was a lot of concern in that respect, uh, and. and them announcing now that they're going to go ahead and. Um, and do a season three has got a few people, you know, feeling a little more relaxed. Like, okay, they're they're not just gonna murder this before it's done. Um, although, I, I having read the book series, uh, the first couple of books are great, and then it kind of gets less <laughs> less well yeah. from there. Yeah, no, I I'm with you on that. Um, so I'm really at a loss to see the heartache if the series doesn't go beyond two seasons but you know it, well uh, I'm... they e even though the the first season wasn't uh a as true to the books as it could have been i'm kind of hoping that that same hindrance will be a benefit when they get to the later parts of the storyline does that make sense i think so like, like, I'm hoping that when they get to the parts that kind of suck anyway, uh, they'll be able to make them better. Or just make their own story? I mean, that would I mean you know, that could, that could work too. <laughs> I mean, unlike some series, the, the books are actually finished. So they don't have to worry about running out of material to copy from. That's true. <laughs> Speaking of books to run out of material to copy from... Um, <laughs> Have we heard anything about Wheel of Time? Uh, not that I can recall. Like, we have trailers and everything, so I'm, I'm like, when is it out? Or is it out and I missed it? In which case, I'm getting off to go watch that. <laughs> hmm. You got Silk Touch for six emeralds? What's the other guy got? No, I don't think it was Silk Touch that I needed to get a new... I think it was my mending guy that I really wanted to find somebody a little cheaper. Oh, yeah, dude. He's already cheaper. Change your prices or change your product, or I'm going to find me a new villager. <laughs> so dirty. I approve. <laughs> Uh, I'm not combining protections until I get protection four. You're going to give me what I want. Well, obviously not right now because it's too late. Um, in the morning, you're going to give me what I want. <laughs> that doesn't sound horrible at all. <laughs> give me what I want in the morning, Mr. Bond. Oh, 
Oh, snap, crack a pop. Eh, drink more coffee. You're fine. No, more <laughs> sulky slime books. Yeah. <laughs> no, the, the, the problem's more just general stiffness and whatnot. Uh, I've been working on the smaller sized instruments, and uh, these hands were not made for eighth size violins. <laughs> trying to set a sound post in one of those things, like trying to prop a barbecue skewer in a flask. No impaling. Come on. What you got for me? <sighs> impaling. For all those tridents we get. Yeah, I know. For all... I, <laughs> I mean, look. <laughs> I could set up a drown farm if I really wanted to. But the drop rates for tridents are... Uh, they are atrocious. I mean, Death Strider is nice, but I, I don't, I can't have a villager dedicated to that, and I don't know what else you're going to give me. What else you got? Quick charge for all those crossbows I don't have. Thank you. <laughs> well, actually, crossbows are hard to come by, so. I mean, I mean, I, I could always make them. I'm actually kind of surprised. Make them. If you get a Fletcher, he'll sell them to you. Yeah, I'm not going to do a Fletcher. I, I just don't I don't trade with them enough to make it worth you know we've only got the sixteen slots. I don't know, man. Sticks for emeralds is cheap. <laughs> yeah, but I got I got those two guys that if I go back and forth with the glass, I'm set. Oh yeah, multi shot because I didn't want quick charge, but I might want multi shot. <sighs> Respiration. Yep, for those oceans I need to survive in. In mm -hmm. the island over the void. Come on, I don't know. It might work like a, a space suit. A space suit, yeah. Riptide. I, I think we've been through this. I think we've been through this. <laughs> Change your trades or it gets the axe again. Uh that, that, okay, blast protection is kind of, I really just want regular protection, but blast protection is kind of, kind of tempting. What about regular protection? No, oh, if I didn't want blast protection four, what makes you think I want blast protection three? Oh yes, give me the same thing I didn't want, but lesser. <laughs> hmm. hmm, looting's on my list, right? No, looting was not on my list. Should be. Uh, well... It depends on what kind of mob farms you have, to be honest. Uh, well, well, no, 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 because the, the, my primary... I'm hoping I get looting off of one of those other yahoos. But the, the things that I know I absolutely must have for a lock uh, are protection, fortune, sharpness, and efficiency. Uh, Why do you need protection? Who's attacking you? Um, those 17 deaths didn't come from falling. Yeah, but whose fault was that? <laughs> the mobs. They got out of the farm. If they had stayed where they were supposed to be, I'd have been fine. If you'd have designed the farm <laughs> better, they wouldn't have gotten out of it. <laughs> and I was there. I saw how some of those mobs <laughs> got out, and it wasn't because of... <laughs> uh, that's because I didn't think... Oh, yeah. Curse of Vanishing. Yes, let, let me put Curse of Vanishing on all my netherite gear. Nothing could go wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. He likes living dangerously. Come on, man. Ooh. Ooh, Fortune. That was on the list. There we go. You found your job. All right, let me find the hole I'm going to stick you in. I, I mean the booth I'm going to let you set up. All right, that was the fortune guy. All right. Um. Oh, just 
stupid caps lock. Fourteen. Three? Sweet. Ah. Uh, well, he's very fortunate he finally gave me something, that's for sure. Certainly not my efficient guy. <laughs> okay, just double checking that it was in fact Fortune 3, and I didn't make a mistake there. Alright. Come on to your new home. Go on, get the booth. Keep going. You're, you're, you're right there. Your future awaits. If you step back just a little bit more. There we go. Your future awaits. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, I got three more guys I need to get. I need to get my protection, my sharpness, and my efficiency guy. Villager employment <laughs> rehabilitation <laughs> terminals. <laughs> I, like, I it. like it. I like that. Uh, I need some of these guys to start giving me some emeralds. Yeah, I didn't even bother labeling those other trades. Uh, I can... I, I can trade in some of that. Matter of fact, while I'm waiting, let's... Uh, let's get some more of this cooking up. No, see, that's what had happened the last time. Or not the last time, after I'd gotten offline. Uh, for some reason, these would get in a really weird state. And break. And I just couldn't figure out... Uh, why? Hmm. I've been wondering if it was a, a lag thing and just, you know, a lag spike at the wrong time would cause the, the timing to go off. Um, ostensibly. Yeah, th this isn't going to work out. All right, I'll have to do this another time then. Um, ostensibly, if I... Oh, where's the other... Oh, no, the carpet's there. If I put... If I make this one slime block taller and put a dead coral fin underneath that slime block, I should be able to get that to work without without the issues. But, I don't know. We'll see. In the meantime, uh, let's get some emeralds from you, good sir. Alright. And I need to get some of you guys look. Ooh. I don't want Frostwalker. Although, if you'll buy the books. Start buying bookshelves and sending selling books back. Alright. Uh I don't have enough emeralds. I'll have to deal with you later. But And I will build more out this way. This is kind of the, kind of sort of the floor plan I'm going with. 
So I'll get my last three guys in here and then the villager trading hall will be done. I've got the iron farm off in the distance there. That's been doing very nicely. And honestly, that's where I'm probably going to get the bulk of my emeralds uh, for a little bit. Although I could, uh, I could do another round of the glass trades with uh, this guy. But I'm not sure that I want to uh, I want to sink that much in there. Because I started with 17 emeralds, right? Now I ended up with 16 emeralds. That's not a win. How did... Who said that? I, oh, I thought that was going to... Ooh, you got the globe. Nice. What did you give me? A globe too. Okay. Oh, that's right. That is... All of them end up with the uh, the globe as the final one, don't they? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. For some reason, I thought I they gave you some the of the other... Capstone they have. Uh, yeah, for some reason, I thought they gave you some of the other banner patterns, but... No, you've got to make you, those. you got to go make those. All but one. One you actually have to go out in the world and find, but... Oh, the, the piglin one? I think so, yeah. I mean, you have the notch apple one, you've got the... Oh, yeah, 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 I almost forgot about that wither skeleton one. head four, you've got the... Come on, man. Hey, hey, no, no, no. Your, your chariot awaits. It's right here. Come on. Get in the boat. Quick, while they're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, ha I've had the villagers trying to fo follow me out of here. And I gotta be really careful what I put in there, because that's actually a slime chunk. It just happened to be the most convenient fence I had available. I didn't want to lose them again. Okay. Well, you were there on the live stream when one of them glitched through the floor. Yeah. That wasn't good. No. I was not happy. I mean, at some point, you got to kind of just accept it. It's their fault and just let them <laughs> have that. Yeah, sure. Uh, do I really need a bunch of beds? Yes. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll put them in there for now. Just in case. Okay. Speaking of beds... Nighty night. need protection, sharpness, and efficiency. Hi, friend. So now that I got these guys squared away, I need to get a lumber yard going. Uh, somewhere to speed up the lumber gathering. I might, I might do two separate builds. One, one that's a platform. No, oh, no, I already got an unbreaking guy, and he's much better than that. Uh, one that, one that's just a simple platform. And one that's a little more automated for the trees of a more predictable size, like oak and uh, birch. 
because even though I don't use a lot of oak and birch when I'm building, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I just need raw planks and stuff, and I might use the oak and birch for that. And just have that be my, uh, anytime. No, I don't need looting. I mean, I want looting, but... Uh, and just have the oak and birch be my, my anytime I need planks for chests and anything that I just need the raw lumber and it's not the the final product <laughs> you're gonna fight me about this the whole way through aren't you you're channeling something you're channeling frustration go, step in front of my axe go ahead see how that works out for you I can make another villager that looks just like you I'm tempted to buy that lure just to just to have like one or two and then pop them into the void. Uh, loyalty, come on, man. You're killing me, Smalls. I mean... In, 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 a, in a server where I'm not limited to 16 villagers, I, I would happily get each and every one. Not being so difficult. <sighs> Am I not pausing long enough for the uh, random number generator to... to sufficiently differentiate the options it's 10 in the afternoon so or 10 in the morning so he should still be working oh, come on man uh almost i need sharpness five can you give me sharpness five no not respiration And you know, I still haven't had wandering, one of those wandering traders. I got that nice platform up there. I got that nice platform right over there. And I still haven't had a wandering trader show up. Now that I actually want one. Like, like when I don't want them. You know, when you're building, building a, a crimson root farm of intricacy and... and some random lead accidentally falling into the hoppers is going to cause problems. Uh, that's that's when they show up. Now, when I could really use, uh, you know, some bamboo stalks or something. Hello, this Yahoo. If he doesn't start giving me something, I'm going to go grab some bamboo shoots <sighs> if I didn't want fire aspect 2 what makes you think I want fire aspect 1 No, my other soap touch guy is already cheaper. It's my mending guy. If you can outbid the mending guy, the job's yours. No, not Curse of Vanishing. Ooh. That's not bad at all. Oh, and the same guy? That's even better. Yeah, I haven't I haven't fully expanded these guys out. Like I'm hoping I'll get some of the the nice to have enchantments that I want when I finish unlocking these guys, but I've got I've got a I've got a list of stuff that I absolutely definitely must have. And and that's what I'm trying to get out of that initial trade. 
So I just got to sit here and go, dude, I do not want Riptide. I kind of wish that these guys, when it randomly selected, it would cycle through. So that way, if they offered you something and you reset it within a certain period of time, they, they'd cycle through to something different. And, oh, that's so close. I need Efficiency 5, man. I'm not combining Efficiency 3 books to get Efficiency 5. <laughs> Uh, that ain't gonna happen. No, not Aqua Affinity. Uh, I just might not get, grab that one. <sighs> See, so that way he doesn't, you know, give you Aqua Affinity back to back like that. Because uh, we we all know tons of people are doing this very thing, and on the one hand, I I applaud the the randomness, but on the other hand, uh, help us narrow it down a little bit quicker. Because I really don't need to be offered multi shot for the fifteenth time. Are you sure? I mean, he's just trying to make sure you are absolutely positive you don't want that. Look, I'm about to go make, like, uh, one of those ghosts on Phasma. <laughs> I'm not sure how that'll help you here, but it sounds funny. No, I, you know, he, he, do you want multi-shot? I'm about to go on a hunt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, feather falling would be nice, but that's not one of my must-haves. I'm hoping that one, that's one of those ones that I'm hoping is going to pop up a little bit later. Although, um, uh, I, it's one of the, I wouldn't mind getting something like that on, uh, off the enchanting table as well. I'm going to be a little bit more, uh, I'm going to try to get that initial enchant off the table, whereas normally I just grab the grab the books for everything that I wanted. Ooh. Protection 4. You have a deal, good sir. Alright, let me find your new home. That is a fine deal indeed. Come on, <laughs> let me up. All right, where's my protection go? There we go. Protection four. Now I just need a sharpness and an affinity. Yeah, or affinity. <laughs> Efficiency guy. <laughs> I mean, the other one will probably work too, but... Affinity? No. Uh, <laughs> infinity, maybe. <laughs> Although I'm, I'm going to take my chances on the enchanting table with infinity. Ah, uh, no fun. And maybe wish for the one millionth time that we could have <laughs> that we could have uh, infinity and mending on the same bow. I get it though. That that would be way too OP. Uh, there are data packs that let you do that too, but no. Come on, up onto the slab. Up onto the slab. There you go. Come on. Your new life awaits. You just need to rise up to the occasion. Step on up. Come on. There we go. Just 
just a step further in. And you'll be in the job of your life. Oh, the job for your life, but... <laughs> that's almost the same, right? No. No? <laughs> All right. Last two. Although, honestly, at this hour, I'm not sure I'm going to do them all on stream, cause, unless these guys go a little bit quicker than the last of. Uh, let's make sure we don't hit the box of the... Hi, friend. <laughs> I wonder what that last villager's thinking, because so far that's twice now that he's gone to sleep and there was one less bed and one less villager in the morning. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, no. I'm telling you. There's been villager abductions. Isn't that right, Bob? Bob? <laughs> they come at night. <laughs> this is our 507th son, but we don't know where any of them have gone. <laughs> The Baba Yaga comes with a boat in the night. <laughs> I'm about to have more cats over there too, aren't I? Probably. All right. Come on, man. You know you want to get to work early. Early to bed, early to rise. Right? Right? Mm-hmm. Come on. There's no need to stare off into that distance. Everything you need is right here. You are going to be the sharpest one of the bunch. Right? Right? You, you get what I'm hitting at? Yeah? Yeah? He probably doesn't get it. No. <laughs> You're going to be the sharpest one of the bunch, right? No? No. You're going to be efficient? Nah. Nah. No such luck. You want to start working early, right? That's a no. <laughs> Come on. It's right there. It's work time. Clock says it. Ding, ding. Punch in. Punch in. How's that going for you? Time to clock in. There we go. Oh. <sighs> Seriously. I do not want Riptide. You walk in front of my axe again, I'm not going to stop. Oh, there's infinity for ten emeralds, too. <laughs> <sighs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. Come on, man. You know, if I need to, I can get another villager. <laughs> I got plenty of carrots. Uh, nope. I mean, power would be nice, but that's one of those I hope for type ones. Oh, come on. Uh, nope. Not 
projectile protection. I already got a protection guy. Uh, there's that lure. Ooh. Flash protection four. That's uh, kind of tempting. Especially as I go try to work on the nether fortressy type stuff. Nah, not aqua affinity though. Uh, nope. I already got a protection guy. And he's better than that. And... Ooh. Uh, I mean, I'm tempted to buy that murder you and then uh, go grab another villager. But I'm down to my last two, so... Out of sheer laziness, I will not... <laughs> I will not let you live through that short-lived sale. <laughs> That means I gotta let one of those other villagers out, and I, I just don't I don't feel like wrangling villagers like that. If there's two more over there, you, you probably wouldn't have lived. Oh mm, uh no, 34 for mending? That's that's more expensive. I already got a mending guy. What you got? Loot mm, uh, looting's nice and all, but I might try to get that on the enchanting table before I do anything else. Uh punch. I do want to punch you, but no. That's pretty messed up. <laughs> so now you give me Curse of Vanishing? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll make all your stuff disappear. Ooh, ooh, silk Touch for 15? No, uh, my, other, my Silk Touch guy is for 5. Uh, fire Protection 1. <laughs> Dude, you gotta try harder than that. <laughs> Lilo Dallas multi shot. <laughs> I haven't watched that movie in forever either. That's yeah, another one of those. Just sit back and yeah. Giggle. I mean, it, it's held up pretty well over the years, all things considered. Um, oh, yeah. oh yeah. I forget who Especially it was. The, I uh, Chris Rock. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah. Well, Chris Rock being Chris Rock. Is that Chris Rock or is that... Uh... Um, originally, it was supposed to be Prince. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they, well, they, they originally wrote the role for Prince and he backed out at some point or contract to speak, couldn't get uh, something. Oh, so close. I need sharpness five, man. Roll a percentile. Nope. <laughs> But uh, somebody on Twitter was talking about TV shows that they really loved as a kid that didn't quite hold up on a second viewing, and I immediately thought of Quantum Leap and MacGyver, which I thoroughly enjoyed watching as a kid. But they they don't they don't hold up quite mm -hmm. so well a second time around. <laughs> uh, Night Court, on the other hand, but you know that that's the kind of thing that should hold up, and they're getting ready to. Um, do a Night Court sequel series. I feel like I should be worried about that. <laughs> uh, they, they got a couple of the actors from the original series, and it's picking up with the kid of the judge, who is now a judge herself. And then going from there. So close. Come on, man. Ah, not punch. Um, so far, everybody seems pretty, pretty like okay. This could be, this could be a thing that works. Come on, man. Oh, no, my other silk touch... My, dude, you're twice what my other silk touch guy is. Now, if you want to do that for my mending guy, I will happily fire him and replace him with you. <laughs> uh, 
Wow. He's expensive. I do not need... Do I look like a paladin? Has anything I have said to you made you think that I'm a paladin in need of smite? No, I didn't think so. Yes. Oh, okay. <clears throat> no, you're still more expensive than my existing mending guy. Sorry. Mm, nope. No quick charge. No loyalty. Keep doing this to me, though. <sighs> All right. It is almost ten o'clock, so I'm gonna hit the credits. This this is pretty much what uh what I'm gonna be doing while I wait for everything to up. Upload, uh, I do upload all the CoffeeCraft livestream archives to my YouTube channel. There's a link in the description below. Unless you're watching this later on YouTube, then congratulations, you found it. Hit subscribe, hit the bell, all the yada yada stuff. Um, I'm trying not to point because YouTube is infamous for moving that stuff around. So you go watching all these videos where you see people go, hit the bell icon, and it's down there now. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... Let me go see who is available for a raid. And it looks like Beast Lord is on playing Dragon Age Inquisition. So I'm going to hit the title screen, stick around, and we will go say hello to Beast Lord. And uh, Friday I will be streaming again at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Uh, I would like to get the Zelda series finished, but uh, I, I have no idea if that's going to be in the cards or not. I need to see how the rest of this week goes and whether or not I can get the prep in. So uh, we'll see. Stick around. Let's go say hello to Beast Lord and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.